Okay, so we're talking about convergence and how it's going to affect you on the greens. Now this drill is, you know, we've talked about making it as specific as possible. So I've got my, I normally play in a hat, so I've got my hat on. I want this to feel as real as possible. Now we're doing this at home because a lot can be done at home, but obviously you can practice this on the greens. So, but you know, this is the next best thing. It's actually pouring outside, so it's a perfect day to do this anyway. So what do we do? So what we're gonna do here is the drill itself isn't gonna change a ton. It's just really the positionings that you're in is what's gonna change. Okay. So if you remember on the convergence, we had two different versions of it. So if we start with the first level of convergence, which is where you were just bringing the ball in close to your eyes and moving it yep. back out, the only difference is now you are going to get in a position as if you were getting ready to to putt. Okay. So you're gonna get into your putt position and then what I want you to do is actually look at where the hole would be. Okay. All right. So if you're looking at where the hole is, now do that exact same drill with the convergence where you're gonna bring that ball in close to your eyes and then as soon as it starts to split into two, you're gonna move it back out. And you're gonna do that for five to seven reps. So you're in that position and you're looking at the hole and you're just moving it in like okay. this. So now you're in a very, very specific golf position where your hips are back but and I'm your hand at, is down. I'm looking at the golf ball here. Exactly, I'm yes. I'm reading the, this golf ball that I'm holding. Yes. Okay. And now you're gonna move it in close to the eyes, same way you did the drill before. As soon as it starts to split into two or double, you move it back out and you'll do that for about five to seven reps to get that first level. But here you've got the golf ball in your hand, you got your hat on, you got your hips pushed back, you're leaning, your head's tilted. So it's much more specific to actually being on the green for golf, okay. getting ready to putt. Now, to move it up to the next level, because we talked earlier about... Now, would I be looking at the hole or would I be doing it here? You can actually do both. My okay. recommendation would be to do yeah, both. That's what I was because thinking because, I mean, this, uh, we're always looking at the hole because that's, you know, our, our objective, but mm -hmm. this is where we're putting from. So it would just be having the ball sort of over... It's almost like I've just picked it directly up from that line mm -hmm. and now I'm just bringing it up. Yes. And... Uh, yep, so ideally, ideally you're going to do this in, in both positions. Okay. So five to seven times. Five to seven ways. times. So this was that first level okay. of the convergence. Yeah. Now to move to the second level of convergence, what you want to do is wherever the hole would be, mm -hmm. you're going to put something down. So you can just use like another golf ball or just any type of a marker yeah. that where that where the, the hole would be. Okay. So as you're doing the first drill and you're looking at the hole, what you're going to do is in the same position, move the ball here. As soon as it starts to split, then you're going to look off at what, where the hole is and then look back at the ball and move it back out and move it back in and then look off at the ball and then look back at this one as you're moving in. So but you're doing that second level. I wouldn't do that here though, would I? Okay. I would actually do both. Okay. I would do both spots. So okay. in this position, what you would do is I would put down another golf ball right here if you're doing it at this, at this yeah, point. There's another one there, yep. isn't there? Uh, one behind you, I can grab okay. it here in a second. So just depending upon which drill you're gonna go through, yeah. Um, that's how you would work it. So if you wanted to do, say, this one first, yeah. then you would do just exactly how you did it. So pull the golf ball in. So you got the golf ball in. As soon as you hit that, then you're going to look down at this golf ball. Then you're going to look back at this one and push it back out to get that second level okay. of being so able to move So here's like point A, point B. Exactly. All right. So, so this would be one version of the drill. Yeah. Would be looking down at where you're putting. And then the second version of the drill would be to look back towards the hole. Okay. So I'm... I'm focusing on here mm -hmm. it's going out of focus i look at the ball by the putter yep and i cut it then i come back mm -hmm. and then follow it back out again okay again same thing five to seven reps yep. then you do the exact same thing over here towards where you think the hole would be okay so now you're pulling the ball in as soon as it starts to split in two you'll stop you'll look at where the hole is once it's clear you'll come back to the ball and follow it back out. And remember the so same, it's again, always visual clarity. Yeah, so, yeah, see, I didn't wait for the clarity of the hole. Yeah, that was pretty quick. So yeah. I was wondering about that. Yeah. So I'll bring it in. You're there. So make sure that that ball and that hole is clear. As soon as it's yeah. clear, then switch back to the ball and follow it back out. Okay. So essentially, you're just doing this, this drill. It's the exact same drill, just in two different ways. One is looking down at the ball before you putt. The other is actually looking at the hole that's out on the green. Perfect. All right, so let's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to help me hold more putts, and it's going to help you hold more putts too. Definitely.